Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Radhika. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe my channel. In our previous video, we have seen the structure, function and transportation of blood into the heart and from the heart. So let's first have a quick review about our previous video. So we have seen that superior vena cava and inferior vena cava carries the deoxygenated blood from your body parts to the right atrium and right atrium gives blood to the right ventricle. From there, the blood deoxygenated blood is carried to the lungs via pulmonary artery. So, pulmonary vein carries oxygenated blood. Now, at the level of lungs, uh, gaseous exchange take place. Uh, carbon dioxide is given and oxygen is taken. So, at the lungs, the pulmonary veins carries the oxygenated blood into the left atrium. From left atrium, the blood is carried into left ventricle. From left ventricle, it goes into your iota. And here, the circulation of blood starts and this iota supplies to your whole body. And now let us see the other structures of the heart. First, let us discuss about the pericardium and pericardial fluid. What is pericardium or pericardial fluid? You have a double layer membrane called pericardial membrane which surrounds your heart. So this is your heart and this is your pericardial membrane which is surrounding your heart. So it is basically a double layered membrane. You have two layers in this membrane, the inner layer and the outer layer in between these two layers you have pericardium or pericardial fluid this fluid has its significance so it protects your heart from external agents which causes injury to your heart so it acts as a shock observance so it acts as shock observant and it provides uh, protection to your heart. So both pericardial membrane and pericardium or pericardial fluids protects your heart from the external injury. Now let us discuss our second topic in this video that is your heart's blood supply. Like other organs even you have heart blood supply that is through coronary arteries which are branches of your iota. Coronary arteries. As I said you have four chambers that is right atrium and ventricle left atrium and ventricle the same way you have not four but two branches of coronary artery that is right branch and left branch right branch supplies the right side of your heart and left branch supplies to your left side of your heart so this is blood supply of heart now coming to the heart sounds you have two major heart sounds that are lap and dub now let us see how the sound lap is produced in my previous video, I have discussed about the tricuspid and bicuspid valve. So, this is your right side, standing in this way. This is your right side, this is your left side. Right side between atrium and ventricle, you have tricuspid valve, tricuspid valve. And between left atrium and left ventricle, you have bicuspid and also refers to a mitral valve. Okay, these are the walls present between right atrium ventricle and left atrium and ventricle. When these sounds are, these walls are closed. As I told in my previous video that to prevent the reverse flow of the blood from ventricles to atrium, these walls are closed. When these are closed together, then the very first sound that is love is produced. Now coming to the sound dub. Uh, including these walls, two more walls are present between left ventricle and iota from here left ventricle from here left ventricle the oxygenated blood goes to iota so there is a valve present between these two parts also that is your aortic valve and one more valve is present between your pulmonary artery and right ventricle Right ventricle gives deoxygenated to pulmonary artery and from here the blood goes to lungs. So between right ventricle and pulmonary artery you have right ventricle and pulmonary artery you have pulmonary valve. So these two are the other walls other than tricuspid and bicuspid walls. When these walls are closed then the second sound of the heart is produced that is Dub. Now coming to the next topic that is your cardiac output. What actually cardiac output is? Uh, let us take the stroke volume. What is stroke volume? When the blood goes from right ventricle to the pulmonary artery and left ventricle from to the uh, 
uh, from left ventricle to the iota then the amount of blood which is pumped through each ventricle is your stroke volume the amount of time given in which these two are pumping the blood in which the two these ventricles are pumping the blood is your cardiac output so you can define cardiac output as your amount of blood pumped by each ventricle in one minute and it also can be written as stroke volume into heart rate so your cardiac output put will be 70 milliliters or it may be written as 5.25 liters per minute it varies from person to person depending upon the age size of heart so it may be 4.0 to 8.0 liters per minute now let us understand the electrical conduction in other words heartbeat how it is occurring in our heart so you have four basic structures which conduct your impulses that is sinoatrial node uh, atrioventricular node bundle of his and Purkinje fibers so these are the four basic structures which help in your electrical conduction first the impulse start with sinoatrial nodes that is also refers to as pacemaker which starts which initiates your heartbeat these impulses are then transferred to atrioventricular node from here it are they are going to uh, transfer those impulses to the bundle of his then to the Purkinje fibers which run along your ventricles both the ventricles right and left now if I uh, if in few of the cases you have heard that there is a replacement of the sinoatrial node that is SA node pacemakers you have basically heard about pacemakers so these pacemakers when uh, fail to start the conduction then this AV node initiate your conductions about 60% to 70% of the conductions are going to start over here then it is going to run along the other fibers now uh, you have heard about the cardiac arrest so basically what cardiac arrest is when you are having any malfunction in these of the structures like uh, SA node, AV node or PKG these structures are going to stop your conduction that is stop to your heartbeat so when this occurs there is a cardiac arrest that is there is no heartbeat or stoppage of heartbeat so there is a always difference between your heartbeat and heart sound heart sounds can be heard by using a stethoscope whereas heart beats can be palpated by placing the stethoscope or your second and third finger second and third finger on your left forearm here you can palpate your heart beats here through radial artery now let us discuss few of the conditions related to the heart the very first condition as i have explained to you about cardiac is when there is a disturbance or malfunction in your electrical conduction then cardiac arrests occur now coming to cardiovascular diseases as i told you you have coronary arteries which supplies to your heart when there is a defect in those arteries then there is a loss of blood supply to your heart and it leads to even heart attack heart attack is nothing but uh, your when the mass of muscle where there is no blood supply then heart attack or myocardial infection occurs okay hole in a heart or septal defects are the defects which are seen uh, as child defects occurs in your septal walls which are present between two upper chambers that is your atrium and two lower chambers in these defects where there is a hole then the or like mixing of deoxygenated and oxygenated blood occurs see if this is your right atrium left atrium when there is, there is a defect then this deoxygenated blood can go and mix with this oxygenated blood lastly coming to heart failure all these conditions lead to heart failures and heart failure is a stage where uh, there is a loss of blood supply to the heart other organs and finally it leads to the death of the human being thank you so much guys for watching my video if you are new please subscribe to my channel and please support my channel